This week, I wish to share with you the importance of sacred scripture in our lives. So uh, as we read together, I read from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verses 28 to 35. By now, they were near the village to which they were going, and he acted as if he was going farther. But they pressed him, stay with us. It is nearly evening, the day is practically over. So he went in to stay with them. When he would seated himself with them to eat, he took bread, pronounced the blessing, then broke the bread and began to distribute it to them. While their eyes were opened and they recognized him, whereupon he vanished from their sight. They said to one another, were not our hearts burning inside us as he talked to us on the road and explained the scriptures to us? They got up immediately and returned to Jerusalem, where they found the eleven and the rest of the company assembled. They were greeted with, The Lord has been raised. It is true. He has appeared to Simon. Then they recounted what had happened on the road, how they had come to know him in the breaking of the bread. In our story here, we see the misery of the disciples with their walk with Jesus. They were actually walking away from Jerusalem because they were so sad about Jesus' crucifixion and his death. The Lord was no longer with them. Their best friend was gone. And as we suffer during this time of pandemic, we have many fears ourselves of our future and our time away from from church and to receive the Eucharist and to be together with our brothers and sisters during Holy Mass. We certainly miss that presence. But Jesus, in the reading, blesses his disciples by letting him know the importance of the sacred scriptures as he explained the scriptures and the story to them about Jesus. And they realized in the breaking of the bread that it was truly Jesus among them. As we journey, God has given us the Holy Scriptures to bless us on our journey as well. We have an opportunity to read the Scriptures. It might not be the body and blood of Christ, but it's still the Lord present because His Word is living and active among us. We are blessed to pray on our own at home with the printed version or to seek the scriptures on the internet or our app at a magazine I've been reading for years called A Word Among Us, which can be found at wau.org. Jesus definitely wants us close to him by the reading of scripture. St. Jerome had a dream where he thought that he was reading or doing more things other than reading God's word. I think we need encouragement that way as well to stay close to scripture, to be with Jesus. So during this time of pandemic, we urge each other to be faithful to God's word daily. It will bring us his peace, his grace, and his love. May God bless you all as we delve into the scriptures this week and in the coming time. God bless you all.